Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and as you can see, I'm out of the office, out of the studio, and I'm actually in California for a few days. And I thought, what better place to test out the camera on the new iPhone XS, which, as you know, has the exact same camera as the XS Max, and compare it to the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 to find out which one has the best camera for photos, selfies, and videos. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button, and tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Okay, so let's start with some daytime shots. And this is downtown Huntington Beach. If you look at the clouds at the top left, the iPhone XS handles the brighter highlights much better. There's a lot more definition and detail in the clouds versus the Note 9. I also prefer the colors on the XS, which are a lot more natural compared to the definitely warmer hue of the Note 9. The first thing that strikes me about these photos is the color difference. Once again, the Note 9 is a lot warmer, although it does also come across as more vibrant, which you may prefer if you're posting these on social media. And again, the XS does seem to handle dynamic range a little bit better with more detail in the clouds. Now, this is a really interesting portrait mode photo or live focus on the Note 9. And there's some big differences between them. And again, I have to say, I am siding with the XS. Starting from the top, you can actually make out the difference between the blue sky and the cloud, whereas it's just a big white mess on the Note 9. The writing on the board is brighter and stands out more on the XS. And if we look at the ground on the bottom below the sign, the iPhone is definitely sharper and more detailed. Moving on, and there's definitely a theme starting to show, and that is how much better the XS handles dynamic range, the bright areas, the dark areas, compared to the Note 9. Everything from my t-shirt to the ground and the trees in the background looks much nicer on the XS. Now let's move on to some lower light and evening shots. This is the Santa Monica Pier, it's a beautiful sunset. What stands out though is the color of that boardwalk. Just look at the difference between the warmer, darker brown on the Note 9 versus the cooler, but I would say more color accurate XS. Detail and sharpness are pretty much on par here, but based purely on color accuracy, I'm gonna go with the XS. My first thought looking at these two was how I prefer the brighter Note 9 photo. But actually, once again, we see the XS come out on top in terms of color accuracy. The clouds were gray, they were not blue, as we can see on the Note 9. Although looking at the end of the pier, because the Note 9's photo is just a bit brighter, you can see a bit more. So I'm actually gonna call this one a tie. This is possibly the most beautiful photo I've ever taken. It was a gorgeous sunset in Santa Monica, as you can see. And what a difference in vibrancy between the two photos. I would say the XS looks more natural, but I mean, if you're gonna put this on Instagram and you want likes and you don't wanna edit it yourself, the Note 9 really is a more pleasing image. So I guess if you want accuracy, go with the iPhone. If you want vibrancy and warmth, go with the Note 9. This is a really interesting nighttime shot, and I have to say, I am immediately drawn to the XS's photo here. Just look at the blue lights around the Ferris wheel and how much clearer and more defined they are on the iPhone's photo. Or even the yellow ride ticket signs at the bottom left, which is clearly legible on the iPhones, but just a bit blown out on the Note 9. This bar shot is kind of tricky because on the one hand, I prefer how the iPhone handles the brighter TV, the football on the TV, but at the same time, the Note 9 is producing a brighter photo with better skin tones, especially if you look at the chairs and that lady in the white shirt. Now switching to the front selfie camera, there's a couple of big differences here. First of all, the field of view. You do get a lot more in the frame on the Note 9 versus the XS. So if you're taking a selfie with a bunch of mates, the Note 9 may actually be a better option. But on the other hand, just look how blown out the Note 9 is. There's so much more detail in the sky and the trees in the background on the XS. So yes, I do prefer the field of view on the Note 9, but between these two selfies, the XS is definitely the winner. It's a similar story when it comes to video and shooting at 4K 30, the most obvious difference is again that dynamic range, especially in the clouds. That extra detail and the more accurate colors does make the XS look better. At 4K 60, neither phone offers stabilization, so it can be a bit shaky. But again, I still do prefer the dynamic range and the colors of the XS. But let me show you how the two phones compare with their front cameras with video. This is both shot at full HD, although the Note 9 can shoot at quad HD, but you lose stabilization, which I think is quite important. So side by side, what do you reckon? How do they line up in terms of color, detail, noise? Let me know what you think. So overall, in my opinion, I think it's a clear win for the iPhone XS. I honestly didn't think there'd be that much difference between them, but the iPhone consistently handled highlights and dynamic range far better than the Note 9. 
you can't go wrong with either phone, but between the two, I think the 10s is the winner. But what do you reckon? Which do you think won? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, click that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat.